Hello Cancer, how are you doing? Hope you're doing fine, you're feeling happy, nice, you're, you're well rested. So uh, this is your weekly reading, so welcome. If you're new to my channel, subscribe and hit that bell notification. Today my throat is not really well, so I'm not going to be as loud as I usually am, but I'll try my best to send across the messages that the universe has for you and what all messages are coming up for you for the second week of March. Let's see, universe, what do you have for cancer? What's the overall energy? Wow. How are you, the cancer? We have the lovers. And to me, this card, more than any relationship or anything like that, to me, it's more like about growth, that spiritual growth. So um, it's time for that. Um, for the rest of you, I feel like this could be about the beginning of a new relationship or just working towards... Um, taking your relationship to the next level or just like, yeah, taking it to the next level, working on um, this relationship that this is and we will get into details, but yeah, for some of you I'm really seeing like growth and like if there was there's a misunderstanding that's going on in your relationship it's gonna clear out okay that's your energy it's about sort of loving yourself and the people who love you let's see what do we have for cancer for cancer Okay, let's see Okay. okay. Mm. So the past energy is like you were more expressive and communicated. really hard on something, you've been trying to undo something here. I feel like you're trying to clear up a misunderstanding here in the past. And without clearing that, you're not going to, you're not willing to move ahead. Yes. Makes sense. Okay. Five of Pentacles, yes. Someone was definitely hurt here. Someone who's heartbroken. Cancer. I'm seeing Leo energy. Um, here is Leo Sag. Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, I'm suddenly, I suddenly, suddenly started feeling, I'm, so, I'm getting chills right now. So this was really some big misunderstanding, I guess, that happened here between the two of you. If this is at all about a relationship right now. Um, Let's clarify the Eight of Swords here. You know, this is a little tricky. You know, this is um, same story, similar cards. This is about not being ready to move ahead. 
not getting fulfilled, satisfied, not feeling happy. For some of you, this could be about just life and feeling discontent, disappointed, um, waiting for that new opportunity to knock at your door, something like that. Oops. Yes. Let's see. Cancer, what do we have for you? Why is the Eight of Swords reverse here? Justice reverse, Nine of Cups, and the Fortune reverse. Yeah. Some, someone was trying out something. I feel like you were figuring out this relationship. You were figuring out um, how to be more expressive. But I feel like that wasn't the right time for some of you, Cancer. Something that you wanted to do that you felt like doing or that you did because you felt like it's going to make you feel happy, but it did not. Um, yeah. But I feel like for some of you, this was like a choice that you made. Because you felt strongly about it. No matter, like, you were not so concerned about the outcome. And that's why you so straight away went to work, back to work. You know, if you, if you like, you just said it, you just did it, and you didn't really think about its consequences. Mm. Death in reverse, Ace of Pentacles reversed, the Magician reversed. I feel like here you're trying to overwork yourself as a means of distraction. Because right now you're not feeling like you can really do anything else. You're just not like in your form right now. You're not wanting to begin something new. You're not expecting anything. You're just feeling stuck. Um, I feel like the fact that you said something or you expressed your feelings to someone and the fact that they haven't reciprocated the way you expected or they haven't at all, uh, that's kind of making you feel like stuck somewhere. Mm. And that's why we have the fool. Yes. Yes, Ace of Swords, it's about bringing in that clarity. Before moving forward here, I'm seeing that um, you are looking for a sense of clarity with the Ace of Swords. And the Hierophant reversed and the Chariot reversed is like, now you know that there's... You're not ready to leave this situation until you sort of know what the other person feels like because the hierophant in reverse is like even if there are people trying to tell you that you know it's time for you to move on from the situation you're like no i need a sense of clarity i need a closure before moving forward and for some of you i'm also seeing like this could be a marriage proposal and you haven't really the person isn't really sure about it right now. You're a person in the past. And of course, this is the past energy. Let's see what we have in the present. Let's see. Okay. The Emperor, the Seven of Wands, the Five of Wands reverse. Yeah, I feel like it was it was for a very small amount of time, Cancer, that you really, really felt that moment and you said it. And now, because the person has not really reciprocated, something like that here I'm seeing, you've gone into that shell again, where now it's really difficult to sort of 
make you express those feelings again. You are gone. You've gone into your, your shell, and now it's it's like it doesn't. I just feel like you don't want a conflict here, and that's why you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna move forward. I don't want to deal with these people or this situation because. I feel like you've given up way too early here, Cancer. You've given up way too early, even if it's a financial situation or career situation or if it's like relationship or even friendship. I feel like you've given, given up a little too early. Also with the sun, I feel like you feel like Whoa, why did I do that? You know, it was so stupid. I shouldn't have done that. But I'm getting that kind of an energy where it's like you're sort of regretting the fact that you did something in the past here, Cancer. The fact that you were open to love, the fact that you were open to receive and give, the fact that you were open to growth. And the other person or the situation didn't turn out to be as you expected. And now you're like, you know what, I'm just moving forward. I can't really deal with this. It's so, To me, it's like you're just like fighting your emotions as well here. Let's see, what do we have? Yes, Knight of, Swords. <clears throat> Knight of Swords reversed, King of Swords reversed, and the Empress reversed, and we have three of wands at the bottom of the deck. This is really about <clears throat> King of Swords upright, we have a King of Swords reversed. You're confused here. You're like, I don't know whether I should stay or whether I should leave. You're not willing to leave because you're hurt because you really want this to work. You feel like you want to give love to this person, even if the person is not willing to do the same to you. The King of Pentacles reversed, Ten of Pentacles reversed, Two of Cups reversed, Six of Pentacles, yeah. Yeah. And we have three of pentacles. Um, this I feel like you were expecting a fulfilling relationship here or a fulfilling career. And now it's just disbalanced. Um, you don't want to express yourself anymore. And I'm seeing like it's just like you've been giving and giving and giving, but you haven't really been receiving anything. And that's sort of shaking your stability here. Um, like the very fact that you wanted to get into this in the first place was to bring that love, to bring that peace, to bring that stability in your life you know in terms of career relationship friendship whatever the situation is for most of you though i am seeing a relationship but i feel like it's been a little unfair to you here the other person haven't been really reciprocating here and yeah like the king of pentacles reversed it's like you have so much, uh, you know, with you that you don't have anyone to share it with. All those luxuries of life, maybe. Or you felt like someone could really bring in that kind of balance and stability and sort of fulfillment with the Nine of Cups here as well in your life. But they sort of, like, just like, Something didn't went right here, Cancer. And let's see, we have the three of wands reversed. 
I feel like there could be an apology or a reconciliation with this person. I just felt that. Oh, we have the star reverse, the devil reverse, the ace of cups reverse. Yeah. You're not feeling any hope. You don't have any hope for this. Um, your emotions are all over the place in the near future. With the devil in reverse, I'm feeling like you're working on letting go of the attachment here. You're working, really trying, I'm seeing, to let go of those attachments which you know are not going to serve you or which you think are not going to serve you. Um, yeah, I feel like there was a lot of love, there was a lot of hope about this relationship, but this person doesn't really... Didn't really, oh my god, I really want to know what's happening again here. Because this is a general reading, but this may not resonate with most of you. But I'm really, really, very strongly feeling like something went wrong. Things didn't fall into place the way you expected them to be. It was really, really, sort of, it's really hurtful right now. Hmm, justice reversed, we have two of swords reversed, the tower reversed, six of wands reversed, I'm sorry, upright. I feel like you'll take a decision here. You'll take a decision in the near future to suppress your feelings towards this person and you'll move forward and you'll be successful in suppressing those feelings for this person. But I still feel like they're always going to be suppressed, right? They never leave you. They are always going to be there. So no matter how hard you try and hide them and suppress them, they're going to come up to the surface sooner or later. You can't hear, so really be careful about that. There's the Ace of Swords here. Mm. Seven of Swords. Upright, Seven of Pentacles, Reverse, and Queen of Pentacles. You're like, you know what? I'm not getting any answers, and I'm not going to sit and think about it. I'm just going to leave, because maybe I don't have any. There's nothing left in this situation for me. And Queen of Pentacles, it's like you're just really trying to mask your feelings and your thoughts about this person or this situation by showing up all that confidence that, oh, I don't even care if they didn't make, you know, it's like they're bad. But at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords reverse. You're actually not very confident. You're not feeling happy. You're not feeling good. You need healing. You're going through this phase of healing. <clears throat> Someone did break your heart here with the Ten of Cups. Um, and yes, King of Cups reversed as well. This is a bad um, and uh, not so good emotional health here. Unhealthy emotions. Um, so you're just trying to hide here, huh? Cancerians. And I really feel like Cancerians are really, really great at hiding their emotions. People consider it as their weakness, but... Actually, the fact that Cancerians are so vulnerable and sensitive, it's one of their biggest strengths, I feel. And now it's just like, you know what? I'm going to feel all those emotions deep within, but I'm not going to show it on my face, which needs a lot of strength. So just make sure what you're doing is right here. Yeah, you're just pretending here. Page of Wands, the new energy, you've sort of got yourself into something new, maybe dating some new people or going on dates, something like that. But I feel like, again, this is all just like a an act. This is just like an act. You're not, you're not really moved on from this person with the Queen of Cups reversed. You're still stuck in the past. Here... You're trying to show that you're very happy. You're trying, but it's, it's not happening. You're, you always go back to the past. Here. Hmm. 
Let's see what else is there. Do we have? The Indian Spirits guys. What do we have? We can so I saw the angel of love and patience in reverse. I feel like this is a situation regarding love. But you were a little impatient here. Mm. Cancer. You can get hurt easily. You can come up with like conclusions in your head, you know. Let's see. We have hostilities, yeah. You've created problems for yourself here by being impatient to your cancer. You walked away from a situation way too early. You didn't even realize, I feel like you didn't even give this person enough time to really think about it. 26, 27 together and we have 25 as well. Deceit. You, f you were hurt, you felt like you were cheated. But I feel like something's not right here. I feel like here, I'm seeing very self-sabotaging energy, deceit, hostilities, walking away. It was just like your emotions were too overpowering and you were not patient enough. So you moved away. And now you're regretting it. And that's why you're putting up a face that you, it's absolutely fine, but you're not. I always say this. We have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. You just wanted to blame someone here, Cancer. You and you blamed the other person for things not working out the way you wanted. You have success. This relationship could have been a great success, I feel, but you were just too quick here to run away. Hmm. What else do we have? Patience, well, see, I told you. I just mentioned patience. You were not courageous, I feel, Cancer. You were just impulsive, you said it, but you were not courageous enough to listen to the answer, and therefore you just ran away. Yeah, and you have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine timing. This was lacking, you were not patient. That's what I'm seeing here. And I mentioned both the things. And we have two. Surrender to the divine. This is probably your advice for the future. And a personal issue reaches a resolution. So for some of you, this is definitely about a relationship or a friendship. Or some personal family relationship. This is not about career. But for some of you, this can definitely be that. Hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, you've been impulsive here, Cancer. You've, you've been, you haven't been courageous enough to really... Hold on and wait for the answers. Rather, it was easier for you to sort of put the blame on the other person. And now you do regret it. I feel like you do regret it. You feel like you've sort of self-sabotaged this situation. Yeah. So, 
yeah, surrender to the divine. That's the biggest advice that's coming. Leave it up to the universe. If it's meant to be, it'll happen. Let's see what's going to happen. Be patient now, at least. Be patient now. That's what I have for you, Cancer, for today. I uh, hope it resonated. Do let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you later.